Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are off the air for the special CBS coverage of Senator John McCain's uh, funeral ceremony from Arlington and around the area of the uh, Vietnam uh, War Memorial for Washington, D.C. for this morning. So we're coming to you online to give you an idea as to what's going on with the forecast at this point. Again, we'll be live again coming up later on tonight with the usual news newscasts uh, following golf and all the other uh, sports that we have coming up for this evening, so stay tuned for more on that. But coming to you live to get you updated on what's going on with your holiday weekend forecast. Again, things are very quiet for now and should be staying that way into the rest of the weekend, but if you have any plans for outdoors, stick around because we'll have more information about your forecast here for the Mid-South area, and we'll answer any questions that we can about what's going on in the Mid-South area weather coming up over the next several days. 7 to 10 day forecast basically the same hot and humid out there but there are signs of things changing and if you're traveling to the east coast or the gulf coast or florida you need to be aware of what's going on big changes in the tropics in the last 24 hours we'll talk about that as well got any weather pictures out there we'd love to see them give us an idea as to where you're checking in from this morning drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section and we'll read those out as we go throughout the next few minutes sun again give us a cloud sky description give us some temperatures give us some rainfall amounts over the last few days if you have any of those and again you can drop those down there if you've never been here before this is our online video weather blog keeping you advised as to what's going on you can catch more details at our social media networks or again you can go directly to our weather page at wreg.com slash weather for more information out there so give us an idea as to where you're checking in from what the weather's like and if you have any weather pictures we'd love to see them tweet them to me and we'll show them some of your show you some of your weather other pictures that you've sent in over the last couple of days, so stick around for that. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures are going to be right about spot on normal for the first day of September. Happy meteorological autumn. It's not autumn yet, but this marks the month where we kind of change over on weather records and we start what's called meteorological fall, meteorological winter. It starts on the first day of the month that the season changes over to. So for today, this for us is autumn for meteorologists out there. Temperatures today, again, pretty close to normal back in the upper 80s, and there will be the possibility of those isolated thunder storms out across the Mid-South as we head into the rest of the day today. Valley fog, plenty of sunshine, beautiful sunrise this morning from Great Smoky Mountains National Park and from the opposite side of the country back toward around Yosemite National Park. Sunrise on the way. View of Half Dome out there. Some gorgeous cameras out there. A little closer to home on the Ole Miss campus. The quadrangle showing a lot of sunshine out there. Not too many people out and about. And just a bit of a breeze from around portions of Oxford, Mississippi this morning. Central Memphis around the area of Rhodes College. Beautiful blue skies. A few thin clouds drifting on through for this morning. Good news again for travelers. We again see no construction going on this weekend for the TDOT Memfix 4 project. So all lanes in all directions are open at this time. Traffic is fairly light for a Saturday morning, picking up in intensity as more people get woken up and get going. But once again, no construction through this area through the holiday weekend. More construction coming up over the next few days and weeks, so we'll keep you updated on that. Vicki McKean from Bolivar, 70 degrees and sunny. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report. Leon Carpenter missed the old Tennessee newscast. Well, welcome to the show. We'll give you updates on what's going on here and in various other locations as well. Jared Knight, how will the Tigers game be? We'll take a look at the forecast here in just a little bit. Carla Kaiser Langston from Dyersburg, sunny with a bit of a breeze. Thank you very much for that one. And Wendy Joe Latham, third... Third, wow, man, two-point typeface and bifocals, kind of hard to see. Third, third, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Beautiful start. Coffee on the back deck. That sounds like a very uh, good news out there for right now. Not much going on. We again have this onshore flow to where we have a lot of warm, moist air coming in from off the Gulf and the Atlantic. That may change our forecast in the next couple of days as well. Storm Tracker 3S Radar. Metro area just past the top of the hour and the rest of the Mid-South not showing anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms out there for right now. So quiet, but later on today could be some more showers and thunderstorms out there across much of the area. Tina M. Hall feeling good for now and a good breeze blowing. That's good to know. Uh, 72 and sunny in Henning, 
Wendy Joe Latham Turner, thank you very much uh, for that one. Great in Clarksdale, Daniel Hayes, thank you very much for checking in. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3, some of the coolest numbers this morning back in the mid to upper 60s. Forgot to mention, if you can't stick around for the whole forecast, it's scrolling by at the bottom of your screen in the red bar right down there. And beneath that in the blue bar, you can see the social media contact information that if you need to see where we are online, definitely get more information about that. This information from the WeatherBug system on your computer, very simple to get. All you have to do is go to this website address, wreg.com slash weather for more information there. Rest of the day today, again, outdoor athletic contests, getting the yard work done, uh, family reunions, Labor Day celebrations, whatever you've got happening. Through the rest of the afternoon, temperatures again back in the lower to mid 80s by the time we hit midday lunchtime, and again going toward about 90 degrees or so. Not exactly a heat wave, but not exactly as cool as we might like it either for this time of the year, back in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. So heading out to the football games today, dress cool, sunblock, and also again uh, take along that extra thermos of ice water just to be on the safe side because it is going to be decently steamy across much of the Mid-South as we go throughout the rest of the day. Now this forecast, multiply at times about 7 to 10 and you got a pretty good idea what's coming our direction in the next several days. Possibility of a few speckles of showers and thunderstorms just about any place across the Mid-South through this afternoon into this evening. News Channel 3 at 10, back in the 70s and 80s, and into tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. It's going to be, again, very much on the nicer side really kind of hesitate to call the 70s cooler, but at least it's not the upper 70s to lower 80s that we saw just a couple of days ago for right now. Uh, Rossier Harris Rudd from Tupelo feels pretty good right now. Thanks a lot for stopping on by. Heidi Ryan, mild in Hernando, Mississippi. Hoping for drier weather. Yeah, we'll see about that. Thank you very much for uh, joining us there. Sunny and cool in Forest City. Brandy Michelle Williams, thank you very much uh, for checking in from around there. Cool in Olive Branch. Tanya Brown Stevenson, thank you very much uh, for that one. And Vera Davis, beautiful morning in Batesville. Thank you very much for all those weather reports from out there. All right, running the numbers into the rest of the forecast. In meteorological terms, this is called persistence forecasting, to where little, if anything, changes, and the forecast seems frighteningly similar and familiar as we go throughout the next several days. So basically, the recipe is this. High temperatures during the day, lower 90s. Low temperatures at night, lower to mid 70s. Right on in through the holiday, isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms. Again, I don't see huge washouts. We're not looking at severe weather, so that's good news, at least for right now, but that could also change. And then over the next several days, again, little if anything is going to be changing anytime soon. So looking about 10 days out for the extended forecast, we see some numbers, again, very typical for this time of the year. It's going to be steamy. It's going to be uncomfortable outside, but that's pretty much normal as we head into September. And again, through about the early part of autumn, we can easily get the 90s into late October. I've seen some very steamy Halloweens around here from time to time, so something to consider if you're going to be doing anything outdoors over the next several days out there. Mild in Horn Lake, Keith Harrell, thank you very much uh, for that one. New Bern, Tennessee, Don Garner, 75 and clear. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And everybody else who's checking in for this morning. Hot in Halls, Tennessee, Barbara Butch Eskridge. Thank you uh, for checking in from around that area for today. Now, there are signs. We don't have it on this forecast because obviously it only goes out about 10 days. But there are signs. The medium range forecast models beyond this into mid-September that we may be looking at a decent trending downwards in the temperatures, as in a decent shot of cooler air from Canada. Now, if that happens, maybe we could be looking at some temperatures by about mid-September in the lower 80s for highs, dare I say it, even into the 50s for low temperatures. But again, that is still way away, and that's more wish casting than anything else at this point. This part of the forecast, you can pretty well carve in stone because it's closer to us. The farther out you go, the more variables there are, and things can change very easily. So again, we'll keep our eyes on that. Lots to talk about in the tropics. Starting off with this storm system again into and around the Bahamas. We'll come back to that one in just a little bit. We have a tropical storm just off the coast of Africa. Florence is a minimal tropical storm, 40 mile per hour winds. This 
and the next several days need to be watched because not only is Florence going to be moving farther out into the Atlantic, yes, it is still several thousand miles away from the United States, but there are signs also of new storm systems beyond this over portions of Africa, and as those swing out into the Atlantic, the water is warmer, the conditions are more conducive, and we may see a chain of these storms heading on out pretty soon. So Florence may be just the beginning of a very active September, but that's, again, what normally happens at this time of the year. Again, this is not a threat immediately. We have several more days, and so far it's expected to kind of curb its way up into the northern Atlantic. So this hopefully will remain what is called a fish storm, as it's only going to bother the fish in the ocean, not showing any problems for land, at least just yet. A little closer to home. It's a disorganized mess right now, but into the western Atlantic, into portions of the Bahamas, and just north of Hispaniola, we've got an area of low pressure that is making its way back to the west. High pressure north of this is going to help to drive this thing forward to the west, and it's a good possibility this may shoot the gap between Florida and Cuba into the next couple of days. The target zone for this is going to be anywhere in the northern Gulf of Mexico. So from Florida all the way back over to around portions of the Rio Grande and Texas, if the storm could wind up anywhere in here. And this could have an impact on our weather up here in the Mid-South. Now, some of you may be looking at this and saying, well, that's a very big target zone. Can't you narrow that down for just a little bit? Right now, no, because of that uncertainty as we go forward into the forecast. So if you're planning on traveling anywhere after Labor Day through anywhere between Brownsville to Fort Myers to New Orleans, you need to watch this storm and traveling anywhere in that area and also the East Coast states over the next several weeks as we approach the peak of hurricane season, these storms can develop very rapidly. Now, the waters here in the Gulf are bathtub warm, so this thing could develop into something more organized and potentially more deadly as we go into the course of the next several days. So again, this needs to, again, be watched carefully as well as everything else that happens in the Atlantic at this time. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information on that. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures out there. Lee Campbell, a nice view of some backlit lightning storm clouds, I'm assuming, from around the area of Batesville, Mississippi. Thank you for that one. Facebook, doing a good job of post-haste delivery, not showing these things up very quickly. But Mary Williamson from Cordova, a nice sunrise from about mid-August. Thank you very much for that one. Terry Anderson, Walnut Grove around Germantown Road earlier this week. Some of the flooding showing up there. Difficult to travel through some of that and dangerous if you don't know how deep some of that stuff is. And Valerie Belvin Simmons, thank you very much for some of those storm clouds earlier this week. Appreciate the view from around that area for where you are. That was on Facebook. Here's a couple of our Twitter locations. Paul Stackpole from around Wolf River. Some of the clearing skies from the storms earlier into this week. Louis Haskett from northeast Arkansas. Some of that outflow boundary pushing away from northeast Arkansas as those storms collapse and send that wave of energy through the atmosphere. And from Oxford last night, 38677 Dispatcher from the Old Miss campus. Beautiful view of sunset last night. Excellent conditions out there for some gorgeous colors. Thank you guys very much for that. If you've got weather pictures or you'd like to see what I just featured, head to any of my social media pages and we'll keep you updated on what goes on out there. We'd be glad to take your pictures and show them to everybody, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So again, you kind of see the problem I'm working with out there. So please send your pictures along. We'd love to tweet them out there to everybody else and show everybody what's going on. Can't catch the forecast on air or online. Dial us up on the radio in the Mid-South throughout the rest of the weekend. My forecast on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. We'll be on again later on tonight on News Channel 3 Late Edition at 5, 6, and 10. So stay tuned into around the area for right now. Uh, Randy Snyder, would that last storm push the high we're underway away from us. Well, right now it doesn't look that way because high pressure is, this one at least, over the East Coast states is decently stubborn, so it's going to more than likely assist those storms moving back to the west, and that also includes the storms over Africa and the eastern Atlantic, so that's why that area of high pressure might help to speed them along, and that's why we need to watch them over the next several days, so something to consider there as we go into the early portion of September, getting really busy in the trial 
topic. So very good question, Mr. Snyder. Thank you very much uh, for asking on that. Dennis Vest, hurry up, fall. Yeah, that would be nice, but uh, not happening anytime soon. It would be nice, but I would love some cooler weather myself out there. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, live and direct from downtown Memphis early Saturday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us, and stick around for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend.